Renee's getting her hair cut again. We're not going to show you the whole process like we did before. You can always go back and see that video if you'd like to. But uh, you will see the finished product when I do. I'm going to get a haircut today too because I need a haircut. All right, we're going to stop by and have a great breakfast at a place today. I think you're really going to enjoy that. We're going to look around a little bit and uh, see what there is to see. We're going to probably pick up some medicine too because, uh, you know, not everything is cheaper medicine-wise in Mexico than the USA. But you know what? chances are you don't have to go to a doctor to get a prescription for something that you already know that you need to have. You can go there and pick it up. And if you need 30 day supply, you'll get 30 day. If you need 360 day supply, you can get that too. I like that. It's my health, my responsibility. I don't need, well, let's just slow that train down. I don't need to get into politics, do I? Okay, let's go look around a little bit. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and leave a comment down below. We love having you on the journey with us. We are headed to La Cienega to breakfast this morning, and I can't wait to show it to you. They're sponsoring this episode of Jean and Renee Travel Adventures as we're exploring a little bit of Ensenada, Mexico. La Cienega Restaurant is one of the best places in all of Ensenada for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They're centrally located on Boulevard Bucaneros in Playa Ensenada. With a fresh bakery and a gourmet kitchen, every meal is a delicacy that will lovingly caress your palate. In a few seconds, we'll travel up to the rooftop with our host, Emilio, to learn about an exciting new offering of theirs. And in a few minutes, we'll meet his wife, Sarah, hear her story, and learn more about the safety and the opportunities found in Mexico. So hi, this is the, the terrace of La Cienega, uh, soon to be Pinel. Uh, this is already the bakery of, of the of the La Cienega restaurant. Fresh bread every day, very nice bread, amazing. You should try it. And well, here we have already a bar, a bar that is gonna be with, with healthy drinks, uh, uh, you know, combinations of, of, of the best juices and the best herbs to, to boost our immune system and, and help build our energy. We're gonna have like classes in here, Tai Chi, Qigong, ice baths, yoga, all sorts of, of nurturing activities that, that make, make, us, make us more aware every day. And, and here we have like a pizza oven, which kind of have like, you know, mother, uh, mother dough, you know, a live dough. We're gonna make everything, everything very healthy. It's, this isn't under, under construction. It's gonna be built, it's gonna be finished this year, uh, we have restaurants here, we have everything. This is like, we have an independent entrance fr from to the terrace directly, that you don't have to go through the restaurant, or you can too, I mean, we're we're together, como, like they say in Spanish, juntos pero no revueltos, you know? Together, but not next. So, yeah, you have beautiful views here, it's gonna be a space of expression, you know, you want to, come and work here to all the expat community. And my wife is an expat. She, we're, we're, we're together building this project. We have this beautiful view. We wanna be working here, chilling, just just healing yourself, expressing yourself. This is the place to be. This is gonna be a very, very zen, relaxed place, but at the same time vibey, with a nice vibey touch. So, we're, we're, we're excited to see you soon.
different story than for Emilio. I, I, um, I was in Los Angeles for a contract and and um, I had shipped my car out from the East Coast, from Atlanta. And uh, since I already had my car out here, I decided to drive south. And, um, you know, it's kind of what you were saying. It's like San Diego, but cheaper and more calm and more connected with the people I find as well. And I had myself a little casita for $500 a month right on the ocean in Rosarito. And it was... It was nice, I was there for about a year, and then I found some people to do yoga with, a little bit down south. And uh, he knew a mutual friend down there, and so we met each other at a little yoga retreat. He followed me in the ocean, because I, I dared to jump in the Pacific Ocean that was all cold. And he was like, who's this girl who would dare to, <laughs> to go jump in? And so he followed me in, and then the rest is history. We went for a couple hikes, and yeah, we got married, and we got a baby, and, you know, all the interestingly traditional things, which I didn't think would happen in that way, but I was, um, I was accepted by his family with open arms, honestly, the best loving family. We're in their establishment now, in their, in their restaurant, and, and, uh, yeah, so it really felt like I was, you know, this was, this was the second home, and, I've kind of been a nomad my whole life, and so I felt really, uh, all of a sudden, like, poised or settled or grounded here, and I felt like I could build up, you know, with, with Jorge Emilio, and um, so yeah, now we're here, and we're, we're looking how to be able to give back to the community and also tell people about, you know, this gem of a place because um, there really is something that happens to like your heart and your um, and your nervous system. I feel when you you know exit the matrix, <laughs> you you help yourself out by just focusing inwards and um, and and with what's around you, with your community, with your family, with your friends. And so yeah, now the next step is to cook really good food for people, also teach people maybe, I mean, we breathe every day, you know, but how do you really breathe so that you can expand your whole body and get a lot of energy inside and not expel everything out? So we want to kind of hold a lot of workshops up in the terrace that you've just seen. And um, we want to, what else do we want to do, baby? We want to just, we want to just share. We also, you guys haven't seen yet, but we have a land out in the Valle. I don't know if you've traveled out there yet, um, but just, just you know, grow some good food and and just yeah, learn how to live from the land. Ultimately, that's 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 the that's the goal. Um, I'm trying to reflect a little bit more about how, how, how much more to articulate about my story, but, but you know, what is, what is life about? <laughs> do, you, do you feel, talk about that, do you feel safe? Oh, absolutely. Yes, I feel very safe, especially here. Um, I wonder if it's because I'm in like a loving pod <laughs> of, you know, Jorge Mino's family and the community here. Um, but honestly, probably not just that because I came down here alone um, and just had my car. I was welcomed amazingly, you know, had flat tires and people helping me out on the side of the road, um, having... Uh, you know, a lot of amazing access, like what I was telling you with um, lab work and um, just like the way that healthcare is here. You can put the autonomy in the individual instead of kind of, you know, I mean, of course there's experts here and you can get um, the expert's advice and their consult, but um, I think the way that we want to continue is just to take a little bit more ownership um, ourselves and so I feel like here you can do that but then also the, the community just Mexicans in general are so giving and loving and uh, and present 
I feel too. So you know what's at what whatever's happening that day. It's like they'll they'll take the time out of their day to help you out, and um, so that's been really cool. So I've I've always felt very safe, and I've been able to find friends everywhere I go. Um, so. They call they call Baja a little bit different than the rest of Mexico because they feel like alienated, I suppose. But it's um, yeah, you have a little bit of everything here, so I, I definitely feel safe. <laughs> you know, we're all looking for safety. We're all looking for um, stability. Yeah, stability. Uh, we're all looking for how am I supposed to know if I'm going to be okay and you you don't ever really know but if you kind of walk in the world with a certain type of attitude and gratitude it kind of creates this this force field as well and then within that force field you get um, received and you interact with people who want to be on that wavelength of gratitude and of, um, of love so I don't know, I think that we really create our own safety and our own security. And so uh, I, I do my best to just stay in that space, um, especially in the times that I was traveling alone. And, uh, and it did, it worked out for me that way. And um, I was received very well. So <laughs> I think that's how we gotta do it. It's gotta come from inside. <laughs> The name of the new restaurant. It's called Pinal, and it's uh, to us, you know, the connection of the pineal gland and uh, the idea of, uh, you know, regulation, the idea of illumination, the idea of expansion, and, um, you know, of conscious living, I suppose, staying, staying conscious and present. So that's, that's the name. It's on the third floor. It's in the open air. We get the view of the port, of the mountains, of the Ensenada city. It's going to be a nice, a nice project and a nice, um, a nice piece of home. So thank you. Thank you, Emilio and Sarah and La Cienega for sponsoring this episode of Jean and Renee Travel Adventures. After a delicious breakfast, let's head downtown. And there she comes. She got her hair cut. Hola. Hair Bell did another good job, and she thanked us for making her on YouTube. <laughs>
they've got it here in Ensenada. From t-shirts to souvenirs to getting your teeth cleaned to massages to clothes to coffee, whatever. about having a poodle is you'll meet other dogs on the street and the other dogs are like oh hi sweet little dog how are you today are you having a good day and Jenny is like <laughs> starts trouble every single time it's them little dogs them little dogs you have to watch out for there it's Jean's turn to get a haircut <laughs> Now, as goofy as it is to film a guy getting his hair cut, here's the hilarious part. There Renee is standing outside the barber shop filming this. By the time it was over, I don't know who they thought was in there, but a crowd had gathered to watch the show. Too funny. using a straight razor. Ah! I don't think Gino is breathing. <laughs> what do you think, Jenny? Huh? What's daddy getting done? Ensenada is truly a magical and vibrant city with delicious food, wonderful people, and plenty to do. This is your favorite. Serrano ham. 
With brie cheese. Yep, raw ham and jelly. The dog Jenny. is getting out of here. Jenny. Hey, pretty girl. Thank you for joining us on this part of our travels on the Baja Peninsula. Please hit the subscribe button, drop us a comment. Don't forget about our other channel, Take a Breath. I'll drop a link in the description section so that you can go over, check it out, and help us to grow that channel. Thank you, La Cienega, for sponsoring this episode. We hope you enjoy all of our episodes on Ensenada. Dios te bendiga, mi amigos. Hey.